Welcome back. Well, I certainly hope you had the umbrella out there with you today. You likely needed it. If you haven't yet today, you're probably going to need it this evening because we do have a line of showers mainly off to our south, but those are pushing through the region right now. We can see those on SkyTrack within uh, East Central Illinois. We see those just in isolated areas, but again, they are pushing through. Cloudy skies is what we have as well. Taking a closer look, a few of those showers, a few of the little heavier bands right around Vigo County, Indiana right now, right over Ter Terre Haute, getting a little bit, uh, quite a bit of that precipitation at this moment. Temperatures right now are still relatively warm despite the uh, cooling that we've seen because of the rain. You can tell where we have seen that. That's where we have some of the cooler temperatures like Terre Haute 76 after that rain fell and helped to cool us down 78 in Robinson. But we are seeing a few peaks of sunshine in other areas. Temperatures again, upper 70s, lower uh, upper 70s, lower 80s right now. As we put future cast into motion this evening, we'll see the showers. That chance of those does continue through the overnight hours as the system that is pushing through our area. Uh, kind of lingering around, taking its sweet time getting out of the viewing area. So we do have the humidity lingering around tonight, although temperatures starting to cool off a little bit now that this system is starting to come closer and closer to pushing its way through 69 by about eight o'clock tonight. So if you do have uh, any uh, overnight, uh, actually 69 should be our overnight low 70 right around eight o'clock, then 69 for our overnight temperature. Apologize about that, but the chance of rain and thunderstorms that isolated chance does linger around through the the overnight hours tonight. Isolated thunderstorms are possible for the day on Friday as we put future cast into motion again. Seeing the cloud cover still yet, so not seeing much sunshine for tomorrow. And then we do see those rain chances in and out for your Friday. Temperature wise getting up to the lower 80s for your Friday, right around 80 by the time we take the drive home tomorrow night. I know a lot of people also wondering about Friday night for Friday night football plans. Well, here's what it looks like. Temperatures in the mid 70s. We do have that isolated thunderstorm chance, so the games as of right now shouldn't be a problem. But of course, if lightning were to start occurring, uh, they would likely uh, postpone the games if uh, lightning continues. Sunsets right around 710 again, 8 o'clock. That's where we see that temperature right around 76 degrees and winds out of the southwest around 10 to 15 miles an hour. Isolated storms again possible as we progress Friday night into Saturday. Day, we see that system starting to get closer and closer to pushing its way out of here. Two areas of low pressure kind of communicating with one another kind of makes them drag and take a little longer getting out of the area. So Saturday is when we start to see the last of that rainfall. But as a cold front pushes through behind that, we cool things off for the weekend. So temperature wise, we're just going to see things continue to cool down 75 for Saturday with some of that humidity still lingering in the area. Isolated showers, cooler pattern does start then by Sunday. Look at that beautiful plenty of sunshine to go around 73. That's well below average. Our average this time of year is in the lower 80s, so we do have that beautiful pattern setting in for Sunday. After that, things do start warming back up in the area, but we stay in the 70s, so really we can't complain for now, especially how we've seen so many 80s recently and even a few 90 degree days. Uh, I really don't think we can complain, but I don't know about you, Kaylee. I'm really, really excited for this weekend forecast. I am too. Um, I ran into that rain today, though, but it looks like I'm still going to bring an umbrella tomorrow as well. You're going to need it tomorrow and maybe even on Saturday, but you'll be good to go by Sunday. All right. Thanks, Jesse.